Hello there Pisces and welcome to your June forecast. It's really great to see everybody again and this is an exciting month. We're at the midpoint of the year. It's a chance for you to really click reset if you're not happy with where your life is. Uh, it's, a, it's a clean slate and opportunities abound so I can't wait to see how the messages come through for you. So the first part of every reading that I do on YouTube involves channeled information. I select a deck that I'm going to use for each sign and then I meditate and see what the message is. For you, it starts with this word, perfection, and the message about perfection is uh, trying not to focus so much on the end goal of being perfect. It's more about the process of moving through all of the ups, the downs, and the imperfections. So I'm putting the prefix before it. Um, kind of the, the play here is that uh, if, you've, if we were to put an apostrophe in there, it would be like, I am perfection. And what uni the universe is trying to tell you, what God is trying to tell you here, is that you are already part of a, uh, a master plan that you laid out, your own higher self, and also God worked with you on this, uh, all of your guides. And so when you look at your life, when you look at your job, and when you look at yourself and you think, gosh, it's not what I want, well, that's still, you're still the, uh, the master plan planner or architect within your own life. So continue to build and work on it. But realize that even with the raw materials that you have right here, right now, you are already perfection in God's eyes and in your higher self, um, if you were to look through that, the eyes of your higher self. So I want you to realize that perfection's an illusion, perfection's a journey, it's not really a destination, we're always working on ourselves, that's the reason we reincarnate, that's the reason we keep coming through, we keep meeting new people, we have new opportunities, we wake up every morning. So you are already in a state of being great. Keep working on yourself and know that every day you are great and you're just improving lifetime to lifetime, moment to moment, second to second. Okay, so with that being said, hopefully that helps some of you be kinder to yourself and others because there is a message in there that sometimes we look at others and expect too much. Sometimes we look at ourselves and expect too much. So if that's the case, ease up a bit and realize you're doing great. All right, so let's take a look at the Celtic cross for this month and see what the general information is. A little bit of, a little bit of stress at the beginning here, but, um, but it eases as we go through the month, which is good. I'm gonna pull a catalyst card in a moment. For those of you that come back every month, you know what this is, but for the new folks, the catalyst card is what ignites the month, what connects everything. And without further ado, let's see what your catalyst message is. Uh, I'll be using cards without words, so it will be a second form of channeled information this month. Okay, so your catalyst this month is all about entanglements in relationships. So for some of you, this is a month where you might be feeling literally like I'm suffocating in this relationship or I'm ready to, to find someone that I want. Some of us want to get entangled. Some of us want to detangle. So uh, the most important thing, the most important message I can come up with in this is don't lose yourself. Um, no matter what, keep a good firm hold on yourself. Stay grounded and realize that it's not the sum of the two. It's basically complementary action in all partnerships. And that's sort of the flaw of a lot, a lot of what we see in Hollywood or in books or in um, pop culture is that you're incomplete uh, unless you have someone else. So going back to the channeled information, you already, I could have put completion here as well and I could have put incomplete. Um, but whether you're complete or incomplete, perfect or imperfect, doesn't matter. You are, you are yourself and I want you to keep hold of that and not focus so much on comparing yourself to someone else. Only compare yourself to what you want to do with your life, what your soul's purpose is, what you're trying to um, improve on in this life. Okay. Your center card is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords speaks to paying attention to little details. You'll notice that there's a skunk here. I really love the way this is illustrated. And what this is telling you is the first time you sense something uh, this month that might be a little bit off or maybe you know that there's something that you really need to, to do, it could be a positive sign too, don't, don't avoid it because eventually it's going to be like right in your face. So paying attention to little warning signs or little opportunities um, before they either slip by or become something big. Because when the skunk finally makes itself known, it's absolutely out there. Better to 
avoid it um, or better to know about it so that you can plan. So there's a challenge coming through this month. It's probably coming in around the 7th to the 14th of the month. Um, I want you to just be careful about that. We have the Ten of Swords, and this is uh, basically showing you again that you can either see yourself as trapped in a situation or just waiting it out. So to put a, a very sort of higher frequency spin on these two cards, this is a month to pick and choose um, if there's any sort of a confrontation that you want to approach, and that's a common message across all, all signs this month. It's also a time for you to really focus on yourself. Um, focus on how you can improve, not on um, delivering sort of negative critiques to others. So focus on yourself, work on whatever task is at hand, and avoid the, the stuff around you. I like this Ten of Swords because we see the craziness happening on the periphery, but this person's actually safe. So take your time, try not to comment unless you have something to add to the conversation, and, uh, and with patience and with grace, you can easily transition through whatever challenge is gonna present itself probably in the first seven to 10 days. All right, as we look through what's um, affecting the action this month, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And what this is really reminding you to do is uh, to, rem to, to not focus so much on your needs. Um, so really to focus on service. It's a great time to volunteer. It's a great time to be empathic and ask other people what they're doing, how they're feeling. Because um, it feels like there was an opportunity that might have been missed last month. You'll get a second chance this month. Partnerships are actually okay, though, when I'm looking at um, the first part of the month. It looks like you could have help from an old friend, an old colleague, or just someone who comes out of the blue and you feel like, wow, why did we never talk before? We have a lot in common. Enjoy that. That's a good thing. Knight of Swords as your crowning card is talking all about clear clarity in your communication and also that there'll be a lot happening this month. I see the skunk there again. Um, so what I really want you to pay attention to this month is uh, know that you're what you are saying and what you are doing is far more important than what uh, whatever gossip is happening or whatever other people are saying or doing. Uh, just stay strong, stay honest, uh, and stay clear and, and clean to your morals, and I think you'll be fine. We have the Two of Wands here in reverse. Sorry, the Ten of Wands here in reverse. It's a small font. Um, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, this is a time for you to move on, many of you. Um, when this happens, it's basically uh, reminding us that we've sort of learned everything we can from a situation. So we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Um, if you're in a work situation, maybe you've been there for a long time, this one is showing you that you've pretty much gained all of the work opportunities and the, and the sort of skills that you need. It's okay to, to look for something new. For those of you that have been living in the same place for a long time, you might be getting antsy, ready to kind of like spread your wings and try something new. So I see the move on the horizon, but it's not yet the time to do it because this card is reversed. So it's saying, wait a little bit, but start to explore your opportunities. It's probably something that's gonna be better in the next six months towards the end of this year, but it's good that you're thinking about it now. We have the Earth Mother here, or the Empress in reverse. Um, it's a fertility sign, so some of you may be struggling with finishing tasks at the moment. Um, you may also be having difficulty uh, bringing things out into a market if you're trying to sell something. And, um, and for those of you trying to conceive, again, a little bit of, uh, it's, it's taking longer than expected. This card is not about giving up though. Mothers do not give up, queens do not give up, and that's really what the empress is. What you wanna do is stay strong, stay focused, and you know, keep putting energy into that which you want to um, come to fruition, and it will eventually. Um, this month is more a month of building, of persevering, and of not getting lost in the shuffle as we look again at this Catalyst card. It's about making room for yourself and not getting too entangled in other people's thoughts. Um, Nine of Pentacles is a good sign. It's reversed though, so it's showing me that you have good resources at your disposal this, this month, whether it's a lot of free time, a lot of help and assistance uh, from friends and family, or a lot of money. It seems like you're, you're well positioned this month. It's going to, uh, you might need to, 
to kind of like lean on that resource in some way and use some of it. So don't be afraid. It's in your environment. When I look at your at the subtle energy for this month on how you feel, um, your fears could be popping in a little bit. I think that's why the 10 and the 7 of swords are at the middle and also the 10 of wands showing that this desire to possibly like run away from a situation. I say be quiet, um, be patient, be strong and see what the next month holds for you because you end on a very positive note with the six of wands showing me that people think highly of you. Even with the reversal here, this is more about perhaps your own um, fear that, that you're not being recognized. I think, I think you actually are not giving yourself enough credit perhaps. But that, with that being said, if you really feel it's time and you're uncomfortable, uh, then I think for you, I, I see six months of improvement, but I think the change is actually going to happen towards the end of the year. December is going to be your magical month when uh, you're able to sort of execute on all of these changes, possibly change in location, on job, uh, for some of you expanding your family, etc. So let's look now at health, wealth, love, and destiny and see how all of this ties together. We'll start first with a health card. And the health card, uh, at least in the way I interpret it, is mind, body, and spirit. It's not just your body. So your health card this month is harmony. Uh, it's, it's a card that enjoys popping up in this deck a lot. And I, I can see why. It's about um, one of the common messages this month is balance. And so with regard to your body, um, harmony is about balance, right? It's also about, for some of you that have ever tried... Um, working with like singing bowls or sound therapy. This is a month where you could try some sort of a, a non-traditional approach towards healing and meditation. And that would be very good. The act, an art of uh, composing and playing music is also gonna be very good for, uh, for many of you that already have that gift. Just being around music is also good. Uh, pay attention to the type of music you're listening to. You know, there's been some scientific studies, I think with ice crystals and um, they record or they play music and then freeze the crystal and then you can see some of them are very quiet and gentle and some of them are very agitated so depending on the type of music that you're listening to it definitely has an effect on on your mental state um, sometimes we do need that loud and noisy music but maybe not so much with cacophony not so much noise this month um, go for the more meditative music and see if it doesn't clear your mind and clear your body and again I'm, I'm highly encouraging you to do something with like either singing bells or singing bowls um, gongs bells anything that has a high frequency because what it is also going to do is lift the frequency of your body so your subtle body all right let's take a look now at your wealth card wealth includes all kinds of opportunities not just money but it really does have an effect with career and finance so this one is about change um, we have death here basically hades so what I'm seeing with this is many of you are at a juncture in your career where it's time to make a significant shift. It's time to move on. And I think it's about two months for you um, before that is fully played out. But uh, like I said, if you're really impatient, I've been there myself before. Sometimes you just have to make the change now. So um, you are supported. I see that you have money and time and energy resources at your disposal. So use what you can and make the change when it feels best for you. As we look now at your, we looked at health, wealth, let's look at your love card. Your message of love this month is downloads and understanding. And I, with this card, it's saying uh, truth is being revealed, insights are coming from heaven in the astral realm. So what I want you to think about is um, what is it you're trying to call in for uh, whatever type of partnership you're looking for, friendship, a deepening of an existing relationship or a new relationship. If you really work on um, projection, you can actually ask for something that you're looking for. Uh, I'll do a video later showing my new dog that I got, but about a year and a half or two years ago, um, I, I, I prayed, I sat down and meditated on all of the things that I was looking for in an animal. And, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because animals are a source of love in your, and light in your life. But I, I was going to wait, I, I was like, the time is not right, but I'm going to send out this sort of like seed, this wish into the universe. And, uh, and it was not so much about looks, it was about you know, behavioral patterns, unconditional love, temperament, 
and 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 then I actually basically called in the soul and when I found this dog that I have now um, I'll go into greater depth when I do the video but he was about the exactly the same age as how long ago I, I said the um, the prayer and I do believe that there's a direct correlation between um, an upload and then this soul being downloaded into a new body so uh, that's one way that you can work with this upload and download system of prayers of intuition and then I want you to sort of listen and see what the universe is sending you you can get warnings you can get information um, you could set an intention to sort of have a lucid dreaming session and see what do I need to know about my relationships or you could be specific I want to improve my relationship with my father with my mother with my partner and see what comes through in your dreams okay so some of you this you can you can do it without dreaming some of you the dreams may be um, the way to do it but uh, I really want you to focus on tuning in and accepting information and then if you want to play with this a little and see how it manifests you can also upload information let's take a look now at your destiny card destiny is a GPS completely within your control uh, at least in the way I'm reading it here I think we have some things that are predetermined but the destiny is sort of your direction here so your destiny card says detach from the situation there's a lot of common threads this month with with regards to work I really believe it's time to either separate yourself from a colleague or from the job altogether um, and so allow yourself to, to, to move away from that okay and any sort of negativity in your life and uh, the prayer here is asking that you're centered and that you know that uh, peace is everywhere within the situation or it's possible so let's uh, pull everything together starting with the channeled information first your channeled information is not to focus so much on being perfect to remember that you already are perfection and that that any imperfection that you have in yourself is okay it's part of the master plan it was set there as a challenge or an opportunity to help you be even better um, on a soul level than you are right now I mentioned that there's some entanglements this month I think you want to be careful particularly now that we see the destiny card here on the types of entanglements that you experience remember that you are just as strong as someone else and the only way people have power is if you give them power so we see the seven of swords and the ten of swords here quiet um, patience and persistence will pay off the ten of wands showing that it's going to be time to move on whether it's a physical moving on or an emotional moving on it's coming uh, money situations are slightly in flux um, with the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here I see money moving out but I don't see it in a permanent state but there is a little bit of ex either uh, unexpected costs or a change in job which is coming through as reverse pentacles uh, you have friends and support however towards the beginning of the month you're, you're very powerful in your ability to communicate this month and move things forward despite some of these challenges it's going to take longer than expected for um, some of your goals and aspirations to come to fruition don't give up on them remember that uh, you have the power to make it happen it's just going to take some time uh, don't be afraid to use the resources there with the moon card in reverse this is about emotional state it is about fertility like I said being patient with uh, matters of fertility but uh, but if there is anything in regards to relationships at work co-workers peers you want to be very careful that card is about avoiding uh, getting too deep into someone else's troubles I do think things are going to work out for you in a positive way it may take a month and a half for some of you it could take until the end of the year but I do see you moving out of this difficult situation for your health this month use music to your advantage um, sound therapy uh, gongs bells anything that's involving higher frequency vibrations also just try to balance out your diet and your overall approach to living this month for wealth it's time for a change look at your investments look at your job look at your what you're doing and if you're happy um, this death card in reverse is basically about stagnation so when we're looking at your love you're gonna receive information through dreams visions and intuition play with not only the downloading but also with the uploading aka prayer um, and then Archangel Michael is reminding you it's time to detach time to let go time to move on you're more powerful than this um, this sort of barrier that's been put in front of you and you're not stuck 
and you are much more the, the the main message here with the imperfection perfection or i am perfection is saying that these are just subjective terms you're already doing exactly what you need to be doing at exactly the right time so i hope that helps you if you'd ever like to discuss your life in greater depth i do have one-on-one -on -one appointments available i'll make sure to post a link at the end of this video and if you just like to stay in touch, the easiest way is to subscribe on YouTube. And there's two links that you want to follow. One is the subscribe button, but the other one is a little bell so that you'll be notified of uh, changes and updates. I also have a newsletter, which is sent out at least at the beginning of each month. And there's direct links to every sign. So that's easier sometimes than surfing through YouTube. Uh, so feel free to subscribe. There'll be a link in the description area below. I'm also on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if you're active on any of those and would like to follow me, feel free to do so. I post my newsletter actually on the um, Instagram feed, so that's a great way to, to look at that. I may eventually archive it on my website as well, but I should mention that in more videos. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you, and I really appreciate all of the love, support, the likes, the subscribes, and the comments every month. Please keep those coming. And uh, if you feel inspired, there is also a link uh, that you can use to donate, but that's completely uh, up to you. So take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Remember, you are, you are fine. You are more than fine in your eyes and in God's eyes. So um, I'll see you again soon. Satnam and namaste. Bye-bye.